Hi, welcome back. I hope you're ready to review what we've been working on in our past few sessions. To get us started, we'll do some phonological awareness. So we are going to play with the sounds in words. So say the word smug. Say smug without saying s. Mug. Smug without s is mug. Say slope. Say slope without saying s. Lope. Say shrink. Say shrink without saying sh. Rink. Say flick. Say flick without saying th. Lick. Say bland. Say bland without saying b. Land. Say branch. Say branch without saying b. Ranch. Say clean. Say clean without saying k. Lean. Say flake. Say flake without saying th. Lake. Say clip. Say clip without saying k. Lip. And say trip. Say trip without saying t. Rip. Nice job taking off the beginning sound and saying what was left in that word. Okay, let's do our letter sound cards. Prop, working on our R blend. Prop. D. K. Whoops. Sang. Sing. A or O. I. O. Sh. Qua. Uh or you. Y. Eh or e. X. J. Ch. A or a. A. B. All. I or I, trip, break, th or z, cram, sung, grab, song, fry, drum, what? Nice job. Let's get ready to write our alphabet. Remember, we write A through M on one line and N through Z on the other line. So work on letter formation and let's go ahead and get started with A. All right, nice job now that we're warmed up. Let's try writing. I will say a word or a sound and you write the letters that make that. So number one, one way to write the blend in drum. Can you repeat that? One way to write the blend in drum and write just the blend. And what did you write? D R D R is the blend in drum. Number two, one way to write the blend in trip. Trip, one way to write the blend in trip. And what did you write? T R T R is our blend in trip. Number three, two ways to write you. Two ways to write you. And what two ways do we know to make the you? 
you can have u by itself or you can have u consonant e u two ways to make u u or u consonant e next one three ways to write k. three ways to write k. and what three ways do you know to write k? c k or c k long spelling right after short vowel c k c k are the three ways that we know to write k. next one one way to write the blend in black and how did you write the blend in black we heard b o black b l is our blend in black next one one way to write the blend in swim one way to write the blend in swim and what did you write s w s w is our blend in swim next one one way to write the chunk in sank one way to write the chunk in sank and what chunk do you know in sank a n k ink is our chunk in sank a n k next one one way to write the chunk in sing sing and what is our chunk in sing i n g ing next one one way to write e eh. one way to write e eh. if you need to stretch it out eddy we have e eddy e eh. e is how we write e eh. and last one one way to write ch one way to write ch and what did you write our digraph c h those two letters get together and make one sound ch, c h says ch. excellent nice writing let's move on to reading some words that have all these letters and chunks in them you say the word and i will repeat it so you can check yourself bang Flap, clip, the L blend. Why do we have the two F's at the end? Loss rule, single closed syllable ending in F. We're going to double the F at the end of the word. Track, CK, because it comes after a short vowel. Here's our R blend. T -r -a -k. My A says A, so I'm using CK. Glob plus wisp file. I have my I consonant E says I. I O and my E is silence. Clung. Let's sound it out. K O A. Mm, clung the cute cat had a cube what words in there have the u sound cute and cube because as the u consonant e says you 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 Cube. Press the grub on the track. Press the grub on the track. Frick. 
tape. The tube broke and cut me. Here we have our long U that says oot, oob, because we have U consonant E. And here we have our short U, uh, long O, O consonant E says O. Bran, Pope, Road, Choke, Drill, D -r -i -l, Drill, and there's our floss rule again. Single closed syllable ending in L, we're going to double the L. Crack, press, drab, pile, swipe, thank, Wake up or you will be late. Wake up or you will be late. Much. Mule. There's our long U. M-U-L. Mule. Do not be a crab or a brat. Do not crab. You cannot grin when you are grim. You cannot grin when you are grim. Grin. Smile, grim. A drip and a drop fell into the grill. A drip and a drop fell into the grill. What do you think was on the grill that might have been dripping and dropping? cooking maybe some chicken. Okay, let's get ready to write some words. Number one, the word is list. So remember, say the word, sound it out, and then spell it, list. Let's sound it out. O-I-S-T. And how'd you spell list? L I S T, list. Number two, drop. Drop. Be careful with that beginning blend. That one's the tricky one. How did you spell drop? D R O P, D R D R D R O P. Next one, trim, trim. Let's sound out trim. T -r -i -m. How'd you spell trim? Trim, T R I M. If you trim something, you cut a little bit off of it. Next one, flank. Flank. Take your time. Sound this one out slowly. Flank. Let's do it together. Flank. How do we spell flank? Flank. Or it has that ink chunk in there. Our FL blend and our ink 
flank, F-L-A-N-K. Next one, swing, swing. Think about the chunks you know, what blend do you hear, and how did you spell swing? S W I N G S W I N G or I N G junk. Last word by itself snug, snug. What sounded out? S N U G. How did you spell snug? S N U G, snug. Nice job. Now we have a sentence. It has one, two, three, four, five, let five words in it. Five words. So draw your lines if you need to. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the sentence. Listen carefully. The top gave us shade. Say that with me. The top gave us shade. Go ahead and write that, sound the words out that you need to. Think about what a good sentence needs. The top gave us shade. So go ahead and pause your video now if you need more time. I am going to start writing it for you so we can check your work. The top gave us shade. So our first word was the, T-H-E, uppercase T, because it's the first word in my sentence. And our sentence always starts with an uppercase letter. The top, T-A-P, E-O-P, gave, G-A-V. So you're G, A, V, and my A is saying its name. It's saying A, so I'm going to put that E on the end. I my A consonant E pattern. The top gave us, U, S, shade. Sh, A, D, and here, sh, that's the digraph, S, H, sh, A, D. And again, my A is saying its name, so I'm going to put the E on the end. And of course, I end with a period. The top gave us shade. How'd you do on that sentence? Let's get ready for our second sentence. This one also has five words. One, two, three, four, five. Cut. A cube of ham. Cut a cube of ham. Sound those words out carefully. Cut a cube of ham. Listen for your vowel sounds. Think about what you know. What does a sentence need? Go ahead and pause your video until you are finished with your sentence and then come back and check it with me. What was our first word? Cut. K -a -t. Cut, uppercase C, because it's the beginning of my sentence. Cut a cube. K -u -b. K -u -b. If I leave it like that, it says cub. I hear it say you, so I need my E on the end. C-U-B-E for cube. Cut a cube of, O-F spells of, ham. Uh, mm. And of course, I need a period. Cut a cube of ham. How did you do on that sentence? Let's try now 
going to our reading passages. Let me see where I have it. Here we go. Okay, back to one of our passages we started before. This is The Drive. So go ahead and read that. Pause it so you can read, and then I am going to move so you can finish the end of the story. Pause that and read as best as you can. Maybe read it a few times. And then another passage, a name for a pup and go ahead and pause it until you can read through that all the way, maybe two times or three times. Remember our goal is to read it smoothly. And thank you for working with me again today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.